A good evening to you and many thanks for joining us on the evening news. My name is Ifunaya Amafili and our headlines for today. Governor Obiano asks aggrieved APGA members to seat their swords and ensure victory for the party. State Police Command parades more than 10 suspected persons for different crimes. Army begins clearance operations of all bandits in Zamfara till June 2019. And we'll start with the news in details. Governor Willie Obiano has asked all APGA members who are aggrieved to join hands to ensure a resounding victory for the party in the coming elections. The governor made the call during his thank you tour to St. Augustine's Primary School, Umunze, Orumba South Council Area, and Orumba North Council Secretariat, Ajali. And our government house correspondent, Ejike Abana, was there, and his report is taken from our studios. Governor Obiano said that working together as one family is important, which he said has been the secret of his success story in all sectors, stressing that it will ensure all candidates emerge victorious and promise that there is room to accommodate and compensate everyone in the remaining years of his tenure. <laughs> An Abga stakeholder in Orumba and Commissioner for Environment, architect Mike Okonkwo, said that with the amount of mobilization they have embarked on, Orumba is now synonymous with Abga and appreciated the governor for thinking it worthy to return with gratitude. And if fellow you know, Afghans, no tension in the fatigable station. The Transition Committee Chairman of Orumba South Local Government Area, Barista Ray Onyego, and his Orumba North counterpart, Honorable Ifi Obinabo, said that Governor Obiano has consistently demonstrated ingenuity in governance, assuring that the candidates that emerge in the area are competent and pledged that they will vote them as support to the governor. South has gotten a very fair and chunky share of his achievements. The Works Commissioner, Engineer Marcel Ifejiofo, Managing Director of, uh, of Anambra Advertisement and Signage Agency, Chief Jude Emecheta, another Abga stalwart, Chief Titus Anibogo, highlighted some state government infrastructural projects in the areas visited. Among numerous party faithful and supporters that attended the event were Professor Charles Soludo, as well as candidates into different elective positions in the area. The people of Idemili South have assured Senator Victor Ome and all candidates of the All Progressive Grand Alliance 100% votes during the forthcoming general elections. The Transition Committee Chairman of Idemili South Council Area, Honorable Don Unachiku, made this declaration while receiving Senator Ume and his campaign team at Nokwa, Okaititi and Nobi. And our correspondent, Valentine Mbaduga, now reports. Senator Ume's community tour witnessed the empowerment of 22 more women with 50,000 naira each. Honorable Nachuku stated that Senator Ome remains the best senator Anambra Central has produced, thus the recognition of the zone at the national level. Speaking, Senator Ome called on all the eligible voters to play their role by voting all applicant candidates in the state during the election and urged the youth to ensure a violent-free election, underscoring that the interest of the youth remains his priority. <laughs> Oh, 
On their part, the Abga Acting National Secretary, Mr. Campbell Umenzekwe, and the Abga candidate for Idemli South State constituency, Barista Chuka Izemune, noted that Senator Ume won the Senator of the Year 2018 award due to his impact at the Red Chambers. How we describe Senator Dr. Savit Ume or Hamadi Kendibu as a bold, courageous, and fearless man. He has been championing the interests of the Igbos and what concerns us most in the, in the Senate chambers. Others who spoke during the tour included the representative of Igwe Emmanuel Ajama of Nnokwa, Chief Richard Okelu, who is the traditional Prime Minister of Nnokwa, President General of OKT Development Union, Mr. Joaquin Okeke, the Demli South Local Government Secretary, Honorable Nne Mekoji, Chief Mike Omenowa, Mr. Emeka Molisa, among others, urged Senator Ume to continue his good work as his victory is guaranteed. <laughs> Among his interage, we are the member of Abga Board of Trustees, Dr. Mrs. Ujo Keke, Transition Chairman of Okanot Local Government Area, Honorable Ferdinand Onguje, and many others. From Nobi, in the Demilisa Local Government Area, I am Valentine Mbadawa, reporting for ABS News. Still on politics within the state, the member representing Injikoka, Dunukofia, an Anotia federal constituency, Honorable Dozin Wankwo, has kick-started efforts for his re-election bid with a stakeholders meeting held at Dunukofia local government headquarters, UPO, with a charge on electorates to vote based on candidates' achievements and antecedents. And our correspondent, Kenechiku Chokudi, brings more details. The presence of grassroots APGA faithful from Dunukofia showed the support the party and Dozin Wankwo enjoy from the people, to which all testify to the democratic dividends he has brought to the constituency. In his speech, Honorable Wankwo thanked the people of Dunukofia for their overwhelming support, which necessitated his presence in the campaign train with the stakeholders' meeting, pointing that he has used his office maximally to attract projects for the people, initiating life impacting bills, and host of other humanitarian gestures for the people. He emphasized that he will still do more with the continued support of the people as he will be better positioned to serve them. I need to work together. Many BGs, many lawyers, clergy, many eh? army everybody. We need to come together with their ideas to work together to achieve results. In his remark, the member representing the Nukofia constituency at the State House of Assembly, Honorable Lawrence Ezudu, spoke of the humility Dozin Wankwo assumes, which has made him serve the people diligently despite the time he lost to litigation, and stated that time has come for the people to give him another overwhelming support. So, not anyone is motivated, if you have a problem, if you have a has done so well. The stakeholders' meeting featured an interactive session, presentation of award to Honorable Wankwo by the National Union of Local Government Employees, NOGE, as well as goodwill messages. From Dunukofia Local Government Headquarters, it's been Kenechuku Chokwodi for ABS News. In ensuring that the state remains secure, youths between the age of 18 and 28 have been paraded by the Anambra State Police Command for robbery-related crimes. And our correspondent, Ogochuku Okeke, has more details. The suspects, who 
who were arrested for robbery were 12 in number. The Command Special and Robbery Squad on 20 January arrested Emeki Hanacho, aged 25, Ekenede, 28, Nuobodoko Sotchupu, 26, and Rapuluchupu Obum, aged 28, robbed one Chizoban Bazwe of Nsubwe of his Akura Jeep with registration number AAA 114FF. Why the anti robbery squad, SAS Okuzu, arrested one Abunchuku Obiekwe, aged 21, and Michael Okoye, 28, on 20th January this year, conspired and injured one Michael Victor, aged 28, through gunshots with intention of robbing his motorcycle at Aglo. Adazin Nook Road. An SB recovered from the suspects include one locally made pistol, five rounds of 7.62 millimeter ammunition, and one cartridge, among other alleged suspects. Parading the suspects, the Commissioner of Police, Anambra State Command, Mr. Garuba Oma, explained that in their continued efforts to stem the tide of crimes and criminality to its barest minimum, the command took proactive steps through intelligence gathering, visibility policing, and constant raids on criminal hideouts in the state, stressing that the majors have yielded remarkable results. Mr. Omar emphasized these successes were made possible through the cooperation born out of implicit confidence from well-meaning members of the public and sheer patriotism to engender a safe and secure environment for all residents in the state, noting that after thorough investigation, the suspect will be charged to court for prosecution. Man, as during the period under review, took some proactive steps through intelligence gathering, visibility policing, and constant raids on criminal hideouts in the state. Uh, the above measures taken yielded a positive, remarkable result. As suspect has confessed to be an armed robber and is assisting the police with useful information that will help in arresting his accomplices who are at large. Paul, on good people of Anambara State to report any suspicious person to the nearest police station or through the command emergency number 070-39194-332 for prompt action. Confessing to the crime, some of the suspects, Chimezie Aronu, secondary school dropout and trailer driver from Umunachi, who allegedly shot an Okada man dead, Emeka Ihanacho, a town crier from Obosi, who snatched two cars from the owners with gun, and Madiabuchi Clement, a teller at Abatete, explained that they indulged in the dastardly acts in their quest for better lives for themselves and families and asked for forgiveness. <laughs> From police headquarters, Amobia, Ogotchpu Okeke reports in FBS News. The State Command of the National Drug Law Enforcement Agency, NDLEA, says it has arrested 20 persons for drug-related offences during its intensified efforts at ensuring violence-free elections in the state. 
The state commander of the agency, Mr. Sule Momodu, disclosed this in his office in Oka yesterday. Ekwi Ajide has the rest of the report. Mr. Momodu, who described drugs as a nebula for violence, said the agency had embarked on a raid of smoking joints which led to the arrest. He lamented that in spite of the problems caused by drugs in society, politicians still give same to their thugs. Hence, the command's intensified efforts at checkmating the use of drugs, especially at smoking joints and political rallies across the state. The command has uh, intensified efforts to ensure that these drugs are not available. One, two, we have also intensified efforts as raiding smoky joints because smoky joints provide opportunities for the boys to meet and strategize. The state commander urged the citizenry to assist the agency in the fight against hard drugs during election by reporting any person or group of persons, especially politicians who are known to distribute drugs to youths. He assured Indianambra that the agency is poised to ensuring that there is no violence before, during and after the elections. In Oka, Ekwi Ajide, ABS News. Still to come after the break, AMI begins clearance operations of all bandits in Zamfara till 2019. Do stay with us. We'll be back shortly. It has come to the knowledge of the Alhambra State Government that a fast-growing number of political parties and their candidates participating in the 2019 general election boldly claim that Governor William Obiano has endorsed them. To make the claim look authentic, Many have published in their campaign posters, flyers and banners, their pictures with Governor Obiano. Many of the photographs were taken with the Governor at public functions, churches, ETC, often without the Governor knowing about them. Some of these parties and their candidates pledged to Ndianambra that once they win, they will publicly declare support for Governor Obiano and join or rejoin the All Progressives Grand Alliance ABGA as the case may be. Some of the candidates have even forged statements purportedly made by the Anambra State Commissioner for Information and Public Enlightenment, Mr. C. Dawn Adenoba, supporting their candidatures. The statements often appear in poorly written English. The Anambra State Government wishes to state categorically that the claims by the parties and politicians are false, misleading and disingenuous. Governor Biano endorses only ABGA candidates in the forthcoming election. As the APGA national leader and chairman of the APGA board of trustees, he cannot endorse candidates contesting on the platforms of other political parties. All in the Anambra should, therefore, disregard the claim by the politicians that Chief Obiano has endorsed them when they are not APGA candidates. These politicians want to use Chief Obiano's immense popularity to hoodwink Anambra state voters and make them vote for candidates other than those of APGA. Though the overwhelming majority of our people are too discerning and sophisticated to fall prey to this trick, it is important to bring to the fore the grand design by people seeking public office by all means to cajole Ndianambra. This trick is nothing less than 419 because the perpetrators want to obtain power through false pretense. For the often time, the good people of Anambra State are encouraged to vote only Abga so that the ongoing excellent work in various facets of our existence will continue. Anambra State has now become about the most competitive state in Nigeria and the most peaceful and stable in the country. The Anambra will not tolerate anything which can disrupt the present development trajectory. God bless Anambra State, the light of the nation. Announcer, Mr. C. Dawn Adenoba, Commissioner for Information and Public Enlightenment. Welcome back and thanks for staying with us. Still on security issues, troops have commenced clearance operations into Bandit's enclave in Zamfara State. And this will last up till June 2019 in line with Operation Sharon Daji, as directed by the Defense Headquarters. A statement from Clement Abibade, 
an acting force information officer operations, said the operation is being conducted simultaneously in collaboration with all security agencies and local vigilante. The statement said the current offensive is designed to identify and destroy bandits' camps and enclaves in the area of operation. He said that already the operation has recorded some success. On 20th January 2019, troops came into contact with a large gang of bandits armed with sophisticated firearms and rocket-propelled grenades at Dumbumbru and Gando Forest, leading to fierce gun battles which lasted several hours. The bandits were forced to abandon their camps due to superior firepower during the encounter. Divine Mercy Chapel, Divine Mercy Chapel, erated by Dimobi's family of Aguluzibo, a North Chair Council area, have been dedicated by the Catholic Bishop of Oka Diocese, Most Reverend Paulinus Ezelkafo. The chapel, which was built in memory of late Mr. Christopher, Mrs. Elizabeth, and Miss Marta Dimobi, was to immortalize them as strong Christians. Amaka Chibuzo Okoye attended the Pontifical High Mass and now reports. In a homely at the Mobis compound, Agluzibo, the Catholic Bishop of Oka Diocese, Most Reverend Ezokafo, said that the church came to transform the society in condemning some activities that is inhuman and to do the work of salvation and soul winning. Bishop Ezokafo extolled the Dimobis for keeping to the faith of their parents and sister, stating it's good for all to keep a sign of their faith in their family and called on others to emulate the family in putting their resources to the service of God. This is the sign. Before we the house, the member representing an usher too in the state house of assembly honorable charles Ezani, and a knight of the church sir mike omenua said joe dimobi and siblings have done great work with the erection of the chapel in honor of their late parents and in remembrance of how they were guided by the teachings of christ which made them to train and instill christian morals in their children the first son of the family honorable joseph dimobi and other son of the deceased reverend father emmanuel dimobi based in australia disclosed that the chapel came in loving memory of their mom, Elizabeth, father, Christopher, and sister, Martha, and noted that the chapel is a place where they will continue to pray, offer thanks and praise to God for everything he has done, stating that their mom is instrumental of him being a priest, and at that, they will continue to offer prayers. I chose or decided to immortalize my mother and my, and my our parents because they founded this family in the trust of God. They founded this family in Christ. They founded this family, family in truth. That is why we decided to immortalize them, because they did a lot for their children. That is why God has blessed us this way. It is a place where we continue to pray, you know, just to offer thanks and praises to God for everything He continues to do in our life. And also, as we gather there, we pray for everybody, you know, so that through our prayer and intercession, that even that probably that, that God may grant them eternal grace and also give out all the gifts and blessings we need as we journey towards eternity. The Mass was attended by Reverend Fathers, Reverend Sisters, Knights and Ladies of the Church, as well as friends and well wishers, as dedication of worshipping materials and thanksgiving were the climax of the Mass from Aguluzibo. And also can sue area, Amaka Chibuzo, Okoye, ABS News. Crude oil production from Nigeria increased the most last month 
amongst its peers in the 14 members organization of petroleum exporting countries. OPEC in its latest monthly oil market reports for January put Nigeria's output at 1.797 million barrels per day for December, up from 1.579 million barrels per day in the previous month, according to direct communications. The report says Nigeria's output rose to 1.750 million barrels per day in December from 1.739 million barrels per day in November, according to secondary sources. Total OPEC preliminary crude oil production averaged 31.58 million barrels in December, a decrease of 751,000 barrels per day over the previous month. And moving over to sports, David Beckham has bought a stake in English non-league side Salford City, following in the footsteps of his former Manchester United teammates in the class of 92. The 43-year-old has joined former United teammates Ryan Giggs, Gary Neville, Phil Neville, Paul Scholes and Nicky Bott and secured a 10% stake in the club. The class of 92 now owns 60% of the club, but Singapore businessman Peter Lim remains the largest shareholder with the remaining 40%. The class of 92 said in a statement that from the very beginning, they wanted David to be involved and be with them on the journey. Salford are third in the fifth tier of English football and promotion this year will see them reach the Football League for the first time in their history. Now don't forget that you can follow our news and programs on ABS from any part of the world simply by logging on to our website which is www.absradiotv.com or like us on our Facebook page at www.facebook.com forward slash ABS Radio Television and follow us on our Twitter and Instagram handle at ABS Radio TV. Before we end the news, we'll take a recap of our highlights for this evening. Governor Obiano has asked Agrif Abga members to sit their swords and ensure victory for the party. State Police Command has paraded more than 10 suspected persons for different crimes. Army has begun clearance operations of all bandits in Zamfara till June 2019. And with that, we'll wrap up the news this evening. Many thanks for being with us. My name is Ifunaya Amafili. Do have a beautiful evening. <laughs>